might be shown in like 10 years from now, no, you know, like special edition. Good morning, everybody. Today it is 4th of July. And I thought I was gonna do something a little different than a recipe Mildly. and actually do like a foodie Friday. What did I eat? And show you guys everything that we are eating today. So I'm gonna start off with a Starbucks. I got the Grande Ice Cinnamon Dolce Latte with coconut milk. We're going to this parade this morning and we left the house super early so that we could get there. And now we are at Del Taco Thank grabbing you. our food for breakfast. So healthy, you guys, I know. It's just like the healthiest breakfast, but I just got um, two breakfast burritos, which is essentially just eggs, cheese, and sauce, like a salsa. So it's not terrible. And um, Benson also got one of those. I'm sure he'll put it down. I haven't done my hair yet. We're going to this. Hey, chill out, buddy. <laughs> uh, I haven't done my hair yet because um, we're going to this parade in the morning, and so I just kind of threw it up. But I will finish my hair later on for this little, my parents have like a little 4th of July party every year, which is essentially just the block party with all the neighbors and family and friends that show up. So. We're gonna just be swimming all day, barbecuing, and then later on going to the fireworks show, which is at the local community center here. So it will be a lot of fun. And we brought the girls, we're gonna stay the night at my parents' house. Um, so that way we can just stay as late as we want and not worry about getting home late, having drunk drivers on the road. You know, 4th of July is always just like a scary time to be out on the road later on at night. And when we have our little guy, we don't want to risk that. There's my boys. <laughs> Come on, hon. How's your burrito, honey? Is it good? <laughs> Sit down, sweetie. You two look so festive. I love your outfits. Thanks, honey. Look at how cute you guys look. Yeah. Ah! Happy 4th of July, my love. Let's see that face. Uh-huh. Somebody needs to get their face wiped. Benson, I like your ride. You're cruising in style. Let's look at the back of this thing. So cute. Making our way up the walkway of the parade, Woo! taking over the street. Are you waving to everybody? Hi, good job. We're walking off our Del Taco right now. <laughs> I didn't realize how far this walk was, which is actually really nice because kind of like getting a small short workout in the morning since I didn't work out today. But it's really nice to get out this early and go for a walk. Benson won! We got him this. <laughs> so cool. I knew he was going to win all along. <laughs> That's probably just because I'm the mom and every mom thinks their kid's going to win, but he did! So, I'm excited and happy and it was well worth it. <laughs> hey guys, do I look fresh? <laughs> um, Tim and I ended up taking a nap because we drank some mimosas and put Benson down for his nap and I was like, you know what? I only had two, so it wasn't like crazy, but it just made me super tired. So. Tim and I both just took a nap. We are up now, and I'm gonna grab some water. Um, my best friend is coming over with her husband, and that's gonna be a lot of fun. So I can't wait to see them, 
and I can't wait to eat. My mom's making potato salad and an Asian slaw salad from Costco, and then my dad's barbecuing, so I'm used to having just sides for holidays since I'm vegetarian, you know, sides is my go-to thing, and I don't hate it. I used to, I used to like always be like, oh, only sides, but now I'm like, you know what, it's a lot of variety, and I feel like it just prevents me from overeating, because a lot of times when you have like a burger and sides, you feel like you have to have every single thing, so for me, it's just like a little bit of sides here and there, and it's perfect. So while we were sleeping, I guess my mom set up a bunch of tables. I'll show you guys. It's like a little buffet table probably and then the table we're going to sit at. My parents are redoing their backyard. My dad can do anything. He's seriously amazing and he's building this beautiful outdoor fireplace. And it's going to have like a built-in barbecue here. And then there it's extending the um, concrete to go all the way to where you can see the grass has been kind of like cut down. So that's going to look really good, I think. And it'll be fun to come out here when it's colder out, like during the winter, and use that barbecue. I mean, that fireplace. I already had one full solo cup of water, and now I'm having a full solo cup of coffee that my mom had this morning that's in the pot still. So I just added ice and some creamer. Now it's an iced coffee. And that nap mixed with this coffee is going to give me the energy to get through the day, stay awake for the fireworks, and just in general have a great, amazing, fun, exciting day. So cheers to everybody out there that's enjoying their 4th of July. I hope you guys are all having such an amazing day. I definitely am. There's nothing like spending holidays with family, and as you guys can probably tell, I am very close to my family, and I love being with them. And now that we have a child, it makes it even more fun to come see grandma and grandpa and have him hang out with them. Just chill, relax, feel comfortable because I grew up in this house. My parents have lived in this house since I've been born and way beyond. So I think it's been... Mom, how many years have you lived in this house? 42. 42 years. So this home is my childhood home. They've done renovations here and there throughout, and they also own the house next door to this one, and that's the one that Tim and I and Benson will be sleeping in tonight. <clears throat> so it's just kind of awesome when you are this close with your family and, and when your husband's this close. Look at them working on 4th of July. <laughs> so I'm going to go find my dad. Ambush my dad. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys the backyard. This is one of their avocado trees. Isn't that freaking insane? When they bought it, it was way, way smaller. And if you guys can see, there's like little avocados everywhere on this tree, just hanging down. And then they have a second one right here. This one's just like a fat, bushier version. They're two different kind of avocados, so. And then over here, look at all these tomato plants my mom has. My mom's always had delicious homegrown tomatoes and zucchini and pretty much like any type of vegetable you can imagine my mom has grown. So I love fresh grown veggies. There's just nothing like it. I think this is the Brussels sprout stock right there. Some jalapenos. What else? Some basil. This is just Trader Joe's basil, you guys. Look at my mom is amazing. I kill this every time I grow it. You guys are getting the tour of my parents' backyard. And I'm gonna wear Benson's hat, put it back in the house. I don't know how it got out here. It's kinda weird. I'm going next door. Their houses are connected, which is so awesome. And growing up, this next door house was our party house. My brother and I would always come over and just like party it up because it's like another house. And I don't know. We weren't really bad kids, so my parents didn't have to worry. We weren't like, doing things we weren't supposed to. We just had friends over and we would hang out and play music louder than my parents would have wanted if they were sleeping upstairs, so. Oh, hey, Loon. Hey, girl. Where's my dad? <laughs> At fourth. There you go. What are you gonna get out of that fridge, huh? Um, Let's see. Oh, use that new koozie I got you. Yeah, I'm gonna just chill him real quick, though. Whoa. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. <laughs> 
Um, I bought koozies for Tim and I and my parents, and they're so cute. I'll have to show you guys. I got these at Target. So this one's mine. It's the front and the back are the same. This one's Tim's. Glittery. This one's my dad's, and then my mom has one, which I don't know what she did with it, but it looks like all stars in blue, just like this one. People are going to be arriving shortly, so I'm going to down this coffee, get ready for the pool, because it is super beautiful today. Cannot wait to swim and just be out in the sun. Woohoo! Everybody's here, guys. The party has started, and ugh, I'm drinking my famous spritzer. So it's uh, ice, like a shot and a half of vodka, half a lemon, and some sparkling water. So it's amazing, delicious, and super low cal. <laughs> Tim, what are you drinking today? I'm drinking some of the Trader Joe's Whalers rum mm -hmm. with Coca-Cola. You don't need to plug. I'm not getting any kind of kickback <laughs> from Trader Joe's. I know your peeps. Uh. I know. I see you. Check it out. It's good. <laughs> and then we have this little boy here. Benson, you got your sunscreen on? Are you eating your crackers? Your cheese rockets? Those are from Trader Joe's too. Look at that yummy cheese rocket. Oh, you want mommy to have your water? Okay, thank you. Uh, my best friend's here and her husband. My best friend's in medical school. She's working her butt off constantly. Well, she's actually in residency now. So she's working six days a week, 12 to like 16 to 20 hour days. And if you guys are in medical school or you have people you know, you guys know how hard it is. So I'm so glad she's able to come over and just chill out and relax. <laughs> Hello, this baby. is my best friend, Hello, Leah, and her Hello. husband. Hello. Howdy. It's 4th of July, and we are all being very... Um, patriotic. Patriotic. This might be shown in like 10 years from now, no, you know, not. like special edition. No. It might happen. No such thing. <laughs> We're finally sitting down for like a dinner, lunch dinner. Vincent's finding things to eat. I'm having potato salad that my mom makes, homemade. And there's like egg and lots of mustard and pickles. And then the Asian slaw from Costco. And then a reinvented salad that has kale, blueberries, bunch of different things. Cranberries. That's where we're eating. Vincent's having some fruit. He had a mac and cheese for lunch. And now he's munching on tons of fruit, which is his favorite. And yeah, we're just sitting down to eat before we go to the fireworks show, which is going to be in about two hours. So hopefully this kid can stick it out. But so far he's been doing great. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> What's up there? What's up there? What the are those birdies doing? on the roof. Yes. In California, we're watching fireworks on the roof. Cheers, you guys. I hope you're enjoying the 4th of July party like we are. And we're just chilling. Vincent's enjoying his fireworks. Diaper bag? What are you doing with it? You want to go to the park? Okay. Yeah, let's go to the park. Oh, you want to go swimming too? We'll do that later. We'll go swimming later, okay? 
Good morning, you guys. It is the next day, and Benson and I have already eaten breakfast. I made him a breakfast burrito, eggs, cheese, and a little tiny bit of salsa. Hi, honey. Okay. What? You want to go outside? So we're going to go head outside to the park right now. Tim's at work, so we're just hanging out at my parents' house until <laughs> he, he gets done with work. And then we're going to head home. So it's kind of fun. It's just Benson and I, and my dad's here. He's working on the backyard. My mom's at work. So we're just going to go to the park and play a little bit, and then we'll probably go swim in because it's a really hot, warm day, so it's perfect for swimming. Benson's napping now. We went to the park, and it was a lot of fun. And I was going to bring the camera, but the battery died, so I didn't get to do that. But um, he's down for a nap now, and I'm going to go lounge out in the pool a little bit while he's sleeping. And then we'll just kind of hang until Tim gets off work, and then we'll head home. But so far, it's been really nice, relaxing summer day, and it totally brings me back to, like, when I used to live here. Are you going to go? Oh. <laughs> She's crazy. Hey, everyone. We made it home safe. Didn't we? Yeah. With a, a little bit of a meltdown in the car, which doesn't normally happen, but I think he he just wanted mommy to sit back there with him, so we had to pull over. I had to go in the back and read some books to you, huh? Uh. Anyways, I hope you guys liked this vlog. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!